Have you ever heard of a C and E Christian? That's a Christmas and Easter Christian. It's somebody who says, I believe in Jesus, and they probably really do. They're baptized. They just don't take church that seriously. And they go to church Christmas and Easter. Would you trust that person? Would you trust them to explain to you the essence of the Nicene Creed and what the fight was all about with the Arians? Would you? Would you, would you trust that person to explain the intricacies, the mystery of the Trinity or the dual nature of Christ? I think you wouldn't. Well, Islam has its, and I say this in quotes, C and E Muslims. Donald Trump recently made massive headlines when he said, Islam hates us. Then, at the debate, they gave him a chance to repudiate himself. And he said, no, I stand by the statement, Islam hates us. And what was really interesting is that no one stepped back, at least from what I've read and what I've watched, no one stepped back and said, Islam is a school of thought. It is a philosophy. It is a law code. It is not simply religious beliefs. It's that too, but it, it's, this, it's this blueprint for what the world should look like according to the dictates of Muhammad. It's a closed philosophical system. Muslims are people that at one degree or another say, yeah, that's the truth. Well, how many Muslims really know Islam? Just like how many CNE Christians really could explain to you Christianity. We're putting together a very intense series called What Would Muhammad Do? We have voice actors. And one of the voice actors that we recently contacted had no clue, no clue that Muhammad had sex slaves of his own. No clue that Muhammad killed with his own hand. There are Muslims who actually get offended when you say that Muslim killed with his own hand, Muhammad killed with his own hand, he ordered people to assassinate men and women, that he had sex slaves. They're offended. But someone who really knows Islam, okay, says, well, of course that's true. He was the prophet of Allah. What he did was the best example, the most noble of men was Muhammad. He didn't even have a shadow. He was made of pure light. Everything he did was the greatest example of what it means to be a true servant of Allah. They know it. And the non-devout Muslim doesn't know it. So in, in part, Trump was right. Islam, that school, hates us. And there are many Muslims who are not devout, who don't know their own religion. They don't want to cut our heads off. They'll drink a beer with you. They'll eat a pork sausage, okay? They will, but they're not devout. They don't know what Islam is. But sadly, tragically, frighteningly, they're just a couple of hadith, a couple of Quran verses away from having a true conversion and then embracing what Islam really is and what it really means. And then following the dictates of the founder, Muhammad. And that's where we have trouble, people. That's where we have trouble.